Hello, I'm Air Force Veteran Ed Ruckel from Veteran Facilitator, where keeping you informed is my passion. Today I'm going to show you two proven ways to get your VA medical records, and you don't even have to leave home to do it. But before we get started, just a reminder, you like what I'm doing and you want to stay informed, click on that subscribe button down below, I'd appreciate it, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Let's get started. Well, here I am on the Get Your VA Medical Records online web page. I'll include a link to this page down below the video in the description area. Simply click on it. That way you can learn more about this program, plus a host of other online bennies and uh, videos and stuff that are out there. I've also done a couple of videos on this particular topic and I'll include links to those down below the video as well. So let's get started here. There are two ways to get your VA medical records online. One's called VA Blue Button. If you're a premium My Healthy Vet account user, then you may already know about the Blue Button uh, reports that you can get. And if you don't, I have videos that I've done on that as well. I'll also include those down below uh, the video in the description area. And the other one is your Veteran Health Information Exchange VHE program, okay? And this is kind of cool. It's automatic when you sign into your four-year VA health care. It automatically is a part of that. And this is where you can actually share information. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. So let's talk about this VA blue button. Uh, if you're already a premium VA or My Healthy Vet account user, then you may already know about the blue button. If you don't, then I'm going to include a couple of videos down below the video again, and you can just click on those to learn more. The purpose of this video is just to make you aware that there are two ways to download your medical records online, and you can do it right from the comfort of your living room. So I'm not going to get into this signing in and creating an account. That's what's in those videos, and I've explained it very well. What I am interested in is this area right here where it says, what is the VA blue button? How can it help me manage my report? And it goes through some of the features that let you review, uh, print, save, download, share information from your VA medical records and personal records. And you can take that information. You download it to a jump drive or something like that. And you can take that information to an outside doctor, and that includes your community care outside provider as well. And then it lists you some of the benefits just, uh, that you get by having and using this blue button. The download customized blue button reports, download a health there summary, build your own personal health record system, monitor vital signs, and track your diet and exercise, and uh, share just a, bit, a digital de adopt a copy with your provider, like I said, okay? Okay, here I am on the Veteran Health Information Exchange program. Like I said, I'm not going into detail here. I have videos that are out there underneath the video in the description area. If you want to learn more about these programs, I certainly do have the information that can guide you to the next step but it is not the purpose of this video. So the Veteran Health Information Exchange program lets veterans automatically and securely share health information with participating community care providers and other doctors that are registered. And I'll qualify that a little bit later on in this video right here. So what is this health care management system? I said it's automatically assigned. I mean that when a veteran signs up for VA health care, they are automatically enrolled in this Veteran Health Information Exchange program, uh, commonly known as the VHE program, uh, though I get that deer in the head like look when I use that term, so I don't recommend you do. Uh, but anyway, uh, you're automatically enrolled and you can opt out if you want to. Now I can't think of a r reason on earth why you'd want to opt out on this and not share information because that's the only way for your outside doctors to get a whole health view of you. Well, that ought to be a song. Anyway, of you. So uh, here we are. What is it and what does it do? Well, it gives your health care providers a more complete view of your health record in other words, it's a holistic view. Not just, I got a piece here, I got a piece there. We're not putting together a jigsaw puzzle here. Uh, your doctor is like looking at a jigsaw 
Yes, but it's like looking at it without the picture. So this gives the whole picture. It gives a full view of it, right? And uh, it allows them to become a part of your health, extended health care team. I think that's a better way to say it, right? you got your VA health care team, you got your community health care team, and you got your outside doctors, maybe through some supplemental insurance that you might have. So anyway, uh, your VHE helps also for continued care, reduces duplication. I remember when I had my major surgery, my vascular surgeon did not know about this or that, and it was in my records. I took it to him. I actually took him the images that were taken at the VA because I had my operation done outside the VA only because I'm Canadian and I was entitled to it and it was a freebie, okay? Um, also, uh, it reduces the errors, it avoids clinical errors, it just makes the whole thing better. And if you're not used to VHE and you're not using it and you want to share information with your outside doctor, then this is the tool to use. It's automatic. Like I said, it's already there. You just have to do it. And here down here, we're talking about sharing options. Okay, if you want to community care to receive this information, there is a way to do that. I have a form that he has to fill out. He submits that to the VA or you can hand walk it back to the VA. Give it to them and they automatically start talking to each other. Uh, and again, down here, it talks about how to opt out. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of detail on that. That could be another video. But right now, you got the two main ways to get your VA medical records online and never leave home. Well, this completes my presentation. From the information presented, you learn two ways that you can get your VA medical records online and never leave home to do it. You also learn that I've included a number of links to other videos and other resources down below the video in the description area. Simply go to that area, click on any of those links, and you're going to learn a lot more about these two programs. And finally, I've just added my brand new help desk support program to my website. It's called Customer Support. I urge you to go to that. I'll include the link down below the video again and uh, along with a couple of videos, okay, that'll teach you all about it and tell you what the benefits are. And you just simply go there, register, and then you can ask questions and get answers. And you'll be connected with over 100,000 veterans in the veteran community together with free access to over 400 videos. So with that said, don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Till next time, have yourself a great day.